In this video, we are going to learn about variable separable method. Why we are learning about that? In order to find solution of differential equation. So what is a differential equation? dy by dx. In that form, if you write, it is a differential equation. If y equal to 2x plus 3, it is a linear equation. ax square plus bx plus 5, it is an algebraic equation. So we, in order to find the solution of differential equation, we are using variable separable method. Now variable, what is variable? In this differential equation, what are what all are the variables y and x? See y and x. So there are two variables y and x. We are going to separate y and x. Okay, that is the name variable separable method. Now here y is in the numerator and x is in the denominator. So x is a independent variable and y is an dependent variable. Okay, that means x will not depend on anything. X is an independent variable. But y is going to depend on x. So y will depend on x. Okay. Now why we are going to find solution. Suppose think that in this linear equation, someone is coming and telling me that find the value of y. Y is depending on x here. Okay. Someone is coming and telling me that find the value of y when x equal to 2. Okay. What I can do? I will substitute here. So 2 multiplied by 2, it will be 4. 4 plus 3 it is going to be 7. So I am getting the value of y. Now the same person is telling me find the value of y when x equal to 4. What I will do? Same procedure. I will substitute here and I will find the answer. So here y is depending on x. As x varies, y also varies. The same procedure. The same person is coming me and asking that find the value of y. Here y is depending on x. Okay, y is the dependent variable and x is the independent variable. Same person is telling me that find the value of y when x equal to 3. Okay, can I find that? Is there any possibility to find that from this differential equation? Directly, we can't find. By using variable separable method, we will find the solution. From the solution, we can find that. So, what we are going to do? We are going to separate the variables. Variable separable. That means, we are going to write the variable with y in one side and variable with x in another side. So, first of all, I am going to take dy. Okay, I wrote dy here. Then dx is there. dx I am going to put in this side. Here it is in the denominator, then it will become here it in numerator. Now dy equal to dx gone there, then 6 is there, 6 is a constant, so I can write in any place, no problem. y square is there, so y square I am going to move to this side. So all terms with y in one side and the remaining term it is x, all term with x in another side. Now, now I need to remove this differential side. What I will do? I will integrate both sides. I need to remove that differentiation. Because I need the answer, final answer in terms of y. Okay. So I need to remove this d part. So I am going to integrate both sides. Now as you can see here, y square is in the denominator. What I am going to do is that I am going to put that in the numerator. Then y square will become y raised to minus 2 dy equal to 6 is a constant. So 6 I am taking outside. Integral x dx. Now what is integral y raised to minus 2? We know d by dx of x raised to n it is n multiplied by x raised to n minus 1. Integral of x raised to n it is x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. Now instead of x here it is y. Okay and instead of n it is minus 2. So y raised to minus 2 it will be y raised to minus 2 plus 1. Minus 2 plus 1 it is minus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1. Minus 2 plus 1 it is minus 1. So y raised to minus 1 means 1 by y. Okay 1 by y is y raised to minus 1. So I am going to write y in the denominator side. Okay, now there is a minus left, so we will write minus here. So we will get minus 1 by y here. Now 6, integral x. What is integral x? Integral x it is x square by 2 plus c. So x square, x square by 2 plus c is there. C is what we call as integration constant. Okay, in this side also c is there. In this side also c is there. So I am writing a common c. Okay, c is the integration constant, which we need to write in every equation after doing integration okay now 2 and 6 will get cancelled we will get 3 so the final answer we are going to get is minus 1 by y 3 x square plus c okay now can i write this in the form of y what i can do i can move this y here and put this term here so it will become minus 1 divided by 3 x square plus c is equal to y see now i got the answer but here also someone is going to tell me uh, find the value of y when x equal to 2. Can I find that? I am going to substitute x here. But there is another constant c. I need to remove that. Then only I will be able to find the value of y when 
at a particular value of x. For that, in the question it is given that y of 1 is equal to 1 by 25. What do you mean by y of 1? y of 1 means at x equal to 1, our value of y it is 1 by 25. Instead this bracket, the value means the value of x. So at x equal to 1, our value of y is 1 by 25. Okay. So in this equation, I am going to substitute at x equal to 1, value of y it is 1 by 25. So instead of x, I am going to substitute 1. So the equation is going to be minus 1 divided by instead of x, I am substituting 1. So 1 square root is 1 itself. So 3 plus c is equal to y value it is 1 by 25. Okay. So from this, I will get minus 25 is equal to 3 plus c. Now I will get c equal to moving this 3 to the side, it will get as minus 25 minus 3, it will be minus 28. So the value of c it is going to be minus 28. Okay. So I got the value of c. I am going to substitute here. Okay, minus 1 all divided by 3 x square plus instead of c I am going to substitute minus 28. So the plus will become minus minus 28 is equal to y. This is the final answer that I am getting. I am getting an equation for y. Now someone is coming and asking me at value at x equal to 2 find the value of y. I can do that. Substitute here then I can I will be able to find the answer. So thus we found the solution by variable separable method.